flashes, time and distance. Okay, so this is a very early on education about flashes. I want you to know and understand flashes very thoroughly, but for right now, just know that we have time and distance to deal with light, okay? And light is very fast, in fact. We can't calculate it, but it's very fast. But we can even make it faster, or not really faster, but it's on duration shorter. Okay, SB700. This is the flash we use in the classroom, and here's the on button. I have it on manual mode, and that allows me to do this. If I hit OK, or the red button right here, it lights up. And if I hit select, I can go into this setting right here. Right now, 1 1 28th is a very short on disk interval of light. So very fast, bam. If you want to capture water falling, that's 1 1 28th. But this also accounts for distance. So I can be very close to the target at 1 1 28th and it won't burn out the edges on things. So you can see if I hit the red button, it flashes. Okay, now let's go to the 1, 1, which is the highest form of flash. Okay. Now you can definitely hear the difference. That one was, yeah, now I'm blind. The other one was not so bad. That being said, I can be further away. If I want to click, the, click this button, kind of aim it at my composition, I can. I want you to understand that you know, you're holding this flash, but basically if the shutter is open, you can fire this flash whenever you want. I can do this for instance. Okay, so let me adjust the camera. And if I click this open, first off I will line up the composition somewhat and I'll click the camera open. It's open. Now for me, firing the flash, I can just click the button and then close the shutter. All right, what do I got? Probably a big, huge, hot mess because the simple fact that it's very bright in the room, but still the picture turned out okay. That means I can fire this from any location at any time and I wanted to. I could turn the lights out in the actual studio. Okay, lights are out. I go over here. I open the camera. And then get up close to it. Fire the flash. Then close up the shutter. All right, so let's look what we have now. I was able to paint light into the scene at a different angle. So that is using the flash as a manual light source in a composition with the shutter exercise. Enjoy.